But first, let's head over to the coast. Lighthouses have been in the news a lot lately, and there's a real concern that we may lose some of these icons of maritime life. Eyes are turning towards the Friends of the Yarmouth Light. We had a chance to stop by the Cape Fershoe Light Station, check out some of the successes of this community-based group. Lighthouses. With over 7,500 kilometers of coastline, Nova Scotia and lighthouses go hand in hand. Nova Scotia has about 150 lighthouses, more than any other province. Many feel a personal connection with these beacons of the sea, including those who are working hard to keep these icons of our province open to the public. Lighthouses are sort of a, one of those mysterious things that uh, not only guide us but, um, and light the way. But to see a chain link fence uh, with absolutely no people around or no people allowed in it, I think that would be a disaster. Work began many years ago to make sure Cape Fershoe Light Station would be around for all to enjoy. We were told uh, by the lighthouse keepers that were on at the time that they weren't sure they were all going to be taken off, weren't sure what's going to happen. So through uh, Yarmouth County Tourist Association, we thought we better start putting some things together which we did, we formed a steering committee. And uh, the steering committee had their first meeting probably in the early 90s and wondering what we were going to do. What they did was secure the future of this symbol of southwestern Nova Scotia. The Cape Fershoe Light Station remains a stopping point for visitors and locals alike. Local residents in particular are truly starting to appreciate this extraordinary property. Uh, the months of May and June, we were down approximately 50% U.S. visits and about 45% in uh, the month of July, although the local visitation has increased by 51%, so it's been wonderful. The local support definitely has been here and a wonderful help to us this season. And that's actually one of the things I've been really stressing this season is that um, with all the local people is reminding them that they are the light keepers. Um, you know, whether it be through their donation, whether they come eat in the mug up tea room or whether they buy something in the, in the gift shop, all those dollars go towards the day-to-day -day operation of the lighthouse. This summer, much needed renovations are underway in and around the lighthouse. The friends of the Yarmouth Light continue to improve access to all who come to visit. This season, um, the renovations are continuing. We're going to see, of course, a brand new parking lot and uh, um, easier access to the site. But not only on the outside, uh, the Friends of the Light have taken part in a museum interpretation program, which we'll see um, installed in September, October. The success of the Cape Fershoe Light Station has communities around Nova Scotia looking to the Friends of the Yarmouth Light for advice. The Department of Fisheries and Oceans has deemed 138 active lighthouses in Nova Scotia as surplus. Communities need to come together quickly if they want to save their lighthouse. It seems that whatever the community is, but have to be prepared to, to work at it and work very, very hard. And it, it can happen, but it's not going to come without a lot of hard work and dedicated people. The Cape Fershoe Light Station continues to be an important part of the lives of many in this area of Nova Scotia. They have history here. They know that Grampy went out around the corner or Mum came down here with us as children or Grandmother was knows somebody or is married to somebody and this means a lot to a lot of people. For more information on the Cape Fershoe Light Station, visit capefershoelight.com. For information on other lighthouses in Nova Scotia, visit the Nova Scotia Lighthouse Preservation Society at nslps.com. On Cape Fershoe, I'm Michael McDonald for Eastlink Magazine.